The Toyo Open Country 83 is an all-terrain, but it still shows some characteristics of a hybrid tire like the Nitto Ridge Grappler. Hybrid tires are mostly seen with prominent circumferential grooves which divide the bulkier outer sides from their compact blocks in the middle. And although both of these tires possess this feature, the Nitto Ridge Grappler provides you with a more aggressive design. It has serrated shoulder blocks with alternating width of thread voids, where prominent stone ejectors are engraved in the wider lateral grooves. These blocks extend out to the sidewalls and make bulkier lugs with different designs on each side of the tire. Here, one side features an even more rugged look than the other. The Toyo Open Country 83 also have serrated shoulder blocks, but they do not have wide enough grooves. And instead of stone ejectors, they are seen with ridges in between which further resist the movement of the blocks. The tire also does not feature dual side walls and forms less bulkier lugs. Overall, both tires have a very blocky shoulder design without any kind of notches. But unlike the Nitto Ridge, where minimal siping is seen, the Toyo 83 provides you with multiple 3D wave-like sipes which helps the tire a lot in wet traction. In the middle, both tires show a very unique pattern. On the Nitto Ridge Grappler, the central area consists of sharp triangular blocks with offset sides. These are actually two unique blocks making mirror images of each other. Here, the two facing the shoulder blocks have deep incisions and the outer two have rectilinear siping common with all of its blocks. All of them also have reinforced foundations underneath so they all make stepped edges providing this tire with more biting capability. These blocks also make Z-shaped grooves which join the outer wider channels prominently. On Toyo 83, however, the placement of the center blocks does not make any proper lateral grooves. Here, the tire features bold S-shaped blocks surrounded by others with notches in them. These notches, which act as biting edges, face everywhere and provides grip from all directions. Other than this, all blocks on Toyo 83 have 3D wave-like siping and on Nitto Ridge, they are rectilinear. Now let's see which tire performs better on road. The Toyo 83 is a more on-road oriented tire. With less wider grooves, the tire makes more rubber contact with the road and this translates into a better grip. Even on corners, where the Nitto Ridge is seen with boulder stone ejectors, on Toyo 83, the ridges in between its shoulder blocks keep them in place and enhance on-road handling. In wet conditions, the Toyo 83 again with its more contact with the road and numerous 3D wave-like siping provides better efficacy. The sipes basically suck in the water particles which are then sprayed out as the tire rolls over. And here, the Nitto Ridge with its minimal siping does not allow the tire to wipe water away as efficiently. The tire also has a heavier inner construction and is composed of a softer outer material. So, with a heavier make, the tire would consume more fuel on road and with a softer compound, it would also wear a little faster. And speaking of wear, the Nitto Ridge does not come with any kind of warranty, where the Toyo 83 provides you with 65,000 miles. If we talk about on-road comfort, although the softer compound of Nitto Ridge gives cushioning to the bumps, the tire is a bit louder. But it was really surprising to see that these tires are still not too loud given their aggressive design. They are equipped with variable pitch technology, 
where the various angles of the blocks dampens the noise levels. So overall, the Nitto Ridge Grappler lacks a little on roads, but the tire really makes up for it with its remarkable off-road performance. On muddy trains, the tire's bulkier serrated shoulder blocks scoop the mud out of its way, while the sharp biting edges in the middle dig through the surface efficiently. The combination of wide lateral and circumferential grooves also allow the mud a clear path to escape out of the tire. In Toyo 83, where there are less wider longitudinal grooves and no proper lateral channels connecting these grooves, the tire gets packed very easily and loses its friction on muddy surface. But mud is all train tires biggest enemy. And having said that, the Toyo 83 is great in other types of trains, especially in snow. Its multiple 3D sipes trap in the snow, and since snow sticks better on snow, the tire provides better traction here overall. Basically, the ice crystals interlock with each other, and this enhances the tire's friction. That's why these tires are branded with Three Peak Mountain Snowflake Rating, unlike the Nitto Ridge, which would only work with deeper snow with its wider grooves. If we talk about rocks, although the Toyo 83 would perform great with its multiple notches facing in all directions, the tire still can't beat the numerous biting edges of the Nitto Ridge Grappler. The reinforced foundations combined with offset edges, sharp sides, and wider grooves all work together to ensure that this tire's friction stays intact. This friction is further enhanced by the softer rubber of the tire, which sticks on rocks in a much better way. Furthermore, the huge lugs of the shoulders with aggressive design on each side of the tire grab and pull, especially during sidewall flexing. And speaking of sidewalls, the tire also provides you with stronger ones. Other than this, both tires perform great on dirt and gravel even at high speeds with their cut-resistant rubber. But the Toyo 83 with no designated ejectors are more prone to stones getting lodged in its thread. So what do you think? Do tell in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.